Hi guys, welcome back to my rabbit hole of K-pop. I'm Atomic Rabbit. So I have some NCT I want to get to before getting into the actual NCT moment of my discovery, uh, which is still gonna be a while. And in this case, it's all comeback related, of course. So I don't know exactly how it all went because I did see the timetable. I did see things pass by, but as you might understand, there's so much going on. <clears throat> Looked at it vaguely, didn't recall. So. I have collected four MVs or clips, three of them called Dreamverse, chapter one, two, and three. And then there's the MV for Hot Sauce. And I know there's more. There's also a show or something. I saw episodes of, of something on the NCT Dream channel. So I went looking, but for now it's gonna be these four. I decided I wanted to watch these four right now. And then possibly I will go watch that sort of show variety thingy um in a later moment for now a second week of random collection of things or oh, not so random this week I, I actually sort of stayed on schedule this is a sidetrack today let's go really good Oh, 
나 진짜 미안해. 자꾸. 아니 진짜 초시가 아니라 컵이라니까. 아, 아, 뭔 소리냐. 아니 초시가 아니라 컵이라니까. 바람 우리 하지마. 아니 요즘 아, 가지고 난리야. 언제부터 전화했다고. 아 하지마 진짜 하지마. 하지마 하지마. 아니 하지마 하지마. 잠깐만. 아 진짜 야 진심 이상해. 하자 하자 하자. Why do I feel so sad for Jisung? to get a soft spot for Jisung since was it work it? I think it was work it. Yeah, 
I couldn't find more. Is there more? I have so many things to say about this that I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna try and recall my thoughts as I went in this. My first thought was my first ever bias in NCT and possibly my second bias in K-pop is Mark. And for some reason, 
these four clips, these four videos brought me back to a year ago when I discovered NCT for the first time. And my first encounter with NCT was Superhuman, uh, specifically the dance practice for that, which is also where I got Bias Mark. I don't know what it is specifically for NCT, but they have this pull on me where I'm just so charmed by it, especially Hot Sauce, but actually the three before that as well. It sounds so NCT. And I think I love that the most out of all of this is that when you listen to NCT, you hear it's NCT. You know it's them. And I know that I haven't by far haven't seen everything NCT related and that I the only real encounter that I've had with them as people as a group is NCT World, which helped a lot with getting to know them. But this whole experience, it brought it really brought me back to a year ago when they started to show up on my YouTube page and when I started to get into them. NCT is actually the second group I got into because every single time I hear their songs, I think this is so good. This, it literally resonates with me and I don't know why. I, I can't pinpoint it exactly. I can't say exactly because today, for example, I listened to four or five different albums from B2B, which is a totally different group. And I love that. And it's 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 very much boy group. NCT is really not very much boy group. NCT is, some people might call it noise, but for me, it's such epic noise. It's, there's so much coming into play with NCT. And it's not only because they have 23 members. They can go in so many directions with the voices that they have. And although this is NCT Dream, it's still NCT. As, as a whole. It's a subunit, but it's not a completely different sound. It's part of that whole, just like Wavy is part of that whole, but with their own identity. And this is more the NCT subunits. This is so exciting. And I felt like I was discovering them all over again, like a year ago. And I don't know exactly why, because they don't really fit my, my usually go-to. But then again, this is K-pop and that's where it's so unique and so epic because there are so many levels to all of this. And NCT is just so mind blowing. And for NCT Dream, the only track that I actually really, really know is Boom Boom, because that is one of my favorite songs. It was, I think it was the second or the third song from NCT that I discovered. But I never really got more into NCT Dream because I knew they were younger. And for some reason, the kind of bubbly impression that I first got from them was not something that I was attracted to. That's where it's good that right now I took the time and opportunity to watch this because I know where they're now. And that helps for me with going back to the then because I know where they go to instead of me watching something that doesn't really resonate with me and then leaving them to the side. Sometimes working backwards is is a good thing. Just as with NCT World, watching that and getting to know 23 of them instead of watching old school stuff first. It's always good to go back to the beginning and to look at where they came from. And in this case for NCT Dream, this was the right way for me to go. And it's really interesting looking back at a year ago and now how... I, I still feel that level of excitement when it comes to NCT. Yeah, I probably can go on for hours and hours, but I will be running in the same circles. So, and, and saying the same sort of things all over again. I just hope you could follow whatever I tried explaining a little bit. If there's more that I want to watch before I get to NCT, the whole thing, which will include Wavy, by the way, because I'm, I'm just putting all subunits with NCT. Wavy is subunit of NCT, so it's going to be NCT Wavy. You'll see it appear, but it's, uh, it's all a matter of time and how things go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. 